Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collaboration video and it's with my daughter, my eldest daughter, Taya. She has her own YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description box below. It is just Taya Lily. Today I am asking Taya some questions here on my channel. She's asked me some questions over on her channel. I'll link that video in the description box below. So don't forget to go and check that out and let her know I sent you and give her a subscribe. But yes, today I'm asking her questions that I would like to know and they're questions that will get her thinking. So this is Taya. Hi. She's 15 years old and 16 this year. Mm -hmm. Not really that long to go, is it November? Yeah, really November. Think about her. So these are the questions I'm going to be asking her. So my first question are, what are some of your goals? Like for life? In general, just the some goals. of your goals. Yeah. Okay, so like I have goals on YouTube because I will set my own channel. So like to get more engagement and more like subscribers if you know what I mean to get higher on that and then I also have like my dream job which is kind of a goal would you say that's yeah, a goal yeah. to try and get to my dream job dream job which is to be a red crate at Butlins so it's basically like it's kind of like an actor-ish an entertainer an entertainer for like kids and stuff but it's also for adults too if you think about it um which is at Butlins which is like a holiday park um other goals Obviously to like pass my GCSEs, but that's, I'm sure everyone wants to pass their GCSEs. Um, I don't think there's anything else in this, really my goals, to be honest. I'll go down answering questions no, like this. Nice. It's good. So the next question is, how would you describe your personality? Okay. Very talkative. Because I do talk a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm rambly. I'm very rambly. Like, a lot. Yeah. Um... I would say like I'm not I used to be quite shy but I feel like I'm getting less shy especially yeah, you, since quarantine you, um no I'd say in the last few years you've definitely come away from your shyness primary yeah. school you was really really shy and I felt like near the end of year six and then when you yeah. went to year seven and definitely through secondary school your confidence has bloomed lot, loads yeah. yeah so um secondary school's really helped you brought out your confidence, confidence and yeah. stuff and you've become I think more yourself now. Yeah. Now that you're in secondary school and as we got older. So yeah, and I'm less thing. like care about what people think about me. Yeah. So that's like self confidence too. Yeah. So yeah. So confident, bubbly and talkative. Yeah. And kind and happy, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Next question is what are you proud of yourself for? Especially my confidence, like getting my confidence up more and self confidence and stuff like that. Um, I'm actually proud of myself for my YouTube channel because there was quite a few times where I decided that I didn't really want to do it anymore and then I didn't film videos for ages but then I started to do it again and now I'm glad that I did because I've been keeping on track a bit more and I'm like proud of myself for Something carrying you really on. enjoy doing this yeah, um, yeah. And I thought that I would never even get to 100 subscribers and now I'm on 120 so it's exciting to get like starting to get more followers and stuff. Subscribers. Yeah. Anything else you're proud of yourself for? I don't know really. Um, I have no idea. No, <laughs> not really. My next question is what motivates you? Um, I don't really know to be honest. I mean like, I don't really know. What, what sort of thing do you mean? Like so, people, things or like... No, just anything. What motivates you? So what gets you like going and gets you like carrying on doing things and stuff like that? So like if I was trying to do something and then I felt like I didn't want to do it anymore, yeah, like, what, and then what motivated that, yeah. me to do it more? Um, I think you just like, um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Maybe just like believing in yourself that you can do it and trying to think like good of the situation, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you're very good at that, especially recently, you like to think positive of things and I think uh -huh. that does motivate you a lot because I think if you have a pos positive like um, mentality yeah, towards it, then it will motivate you to carry on. Where yeah. if you think you can't do something, then it kind of holds you back there, you've put like a wall up. Yeah. So I think that's good for you. You have quite a like happy, positive attitude. So I yeah. think that motivates you a lot, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you have a role model? Um... Well, kind of you, because you're obviously Aww. my mum, but then not really, because <laughs> <laughs> we're very, we're like, not that similar if you think about it, we're like kind of similar, but not really, yeah. but yeah, I don't really think I do have really a role model, I don't think so, no. 
No, I think you're very self-motivated, like we said before. Yeah. So I think you use yourself as your role model. So you know mm -hmm. you can do the best. You want to be the best you, don't yeah. you? So, so like, if you think you don't about think, what the yeah. best you is, that's technically my role model. So you say about me being your type of role model. So my next question is, as a parent, do I do anything that embarrasses you? Um, There's probably so many times where you've like embarrassed me doing stuff. But like when you, get, when you actually ask, I can't really think of any. Um, is it just yes, I do? Yeah, you do embarrass me quite a lot, to be honest. But I don't really embarrass you in front of people, do I, or anything? No. We're just quite a like, fun, messy family. You don't embarrass family. me in front of my friends or anything like that. No. Like, my friends just talk to you like normal, you know what I mean? As if like they're just known you. Yeah. So, like, you don't embarrass me in front of my friends or anything. Yeah. You probably embarrass me in front of our family, though. Our family are all the same, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking of family. What are your favourite family traditions? I thought it was going to be a favourite family member, but I was like, mum. <laughs> um, family traditions. I mean, we don't really have family traditions, really, do we? Like, I like going down to my nan's house on Boxing Day for Christmas, because we yeah. all go down together and have, like, kind of like a second Christmas all together. So I like doing that. Um, I don't really think we have any other traditions, do we? Um, it's a lot of things we do all the time, but yeah. But nothing, that would be That's your... like our only really tradition and it's really fun and I like it, yeah. What do you think makes a good friend? Good friend, so you have to be kind, obviously. You have to be honest. That's actually quite a main thing for like friendship because you have to be able to talk to each other and stuff. You have to be able to like trust each other. Trust, yeah. Trust a good, is yeah, a good one. one yeah. Because obviously you need to be able to tell them stuff. Yeah, you and know hope I mean. that they don't speak to anyone else yeah you need to be able to trust them and know that the they will honest answer and they'll help you be the best that you can be as well yeah that's, that's nice. great <laughs> do you think you're a good friend then yeah i do yeah you do have a very close little group of friends don't you yeah. which and you never all really fall out so mm -hmm. what do you think of bullying well obviously it's not a good thing um i feel like what do you mean like what you should do you like you're bullied or just in general what are your feelings towards bullying or bullies well, i obviously don't like bullying or bullies but obviously don't bully a bully back because they might obviously stand up for yourself but i feel like bullies they might be bad and they might do stuff to you but it might only be because they've been hurt themselves have you passed on any chances that you now regret so any opportunities um, that you now would i don't regret? think so Said that really weirdly but yeah i don't think so i don't think there's anything any opportunities that i've like missed or anything even before it could be when you were younger that you've had an opportunity to do uh, something but you haven't done it and now you think you wish you had done it or gone somewhere or maybe like just like dance or something because i feel like it's easier to start dance when you're younger um, you did used to do dance yeah you, but then we kind of stopped it and you got out of that whole dance thing and now it's something you really enjoy enjoy too. doing and i feel like it's easier to start younger but like, I don't really regret it too much because you can't really let yourself regret things. It's better to just move on from them and think about what you can do instead. Yeah, you know you, what I mean? That's what I was saying with your positive attitude. You don't really regret or have any like yeah. thing hold you back, do you? You're quite, you're very positive. You can't person. really go back and change it, so there's no point thinking about it and like holding it back, hold let ugh, letting it hold you back because it's not going to affect you in the future if you change it now. And my last question are, name three things that make you truly happy. Okay. My friends. My family. Um, and... Hmm, I'm trying to think, because there's stuff that, like, I feel like... Hmm, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, my YouTube channel? Yeah, I'd friends say. and family, I'd say, because are a big one. Yeah, sorry, especially being in this quarantine as well, it's made you, like you don't really care about stuff as much as you care about your family you know what i mean yeah we were talking about this the other day actually we have quite deep conversations <laughs> and lots of talks yeah, especially with like all this talking going on yeah. Like yeah but um yeah we, we have learned to appreciate our time with each other and our, like i said our families we obviously nobody's seeing their families right mm -hmm. now so yeah possessions aren't really a big thing yeah, are like, they? i miss my family more than i would like i'd rather go if I had like one day out of this quarantine, I'd rather go see my family and friends rather than go like have a McDonald's or go shopping and buy like new clothes or something. I'd rather go to see my family. Yeah, don't get us wrong, like we do miss the normality yeah, of things. I still do miss McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah, really does. 
but um I think that truly makes you truly happy would yeah. be friends like I haven't missed pop into Primark and buy a new top but I have missed yeah. seeing Nan and giving her a card so those are all the questions I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you got to know Taya a little bit better like I said go and check out her video on her channel see the questions she asked me they're a little bit different to this aren't they <laughs> yeah they are. um and like I said give her a like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video